Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 1, Episode 9 of Sailor Moon. The original series called Usagi's Disaster. Beware of the Clock of Confusion. So, we start off with Beryl is starting to get a little upset about the second Cardian. <laughs> Well, she is very upset about that. And so Jedi is going to go after time slash anxiety. And so we cut to where Ami and Usagi are going window shopping. And they're having like a really fun time. And see this clock shop. And they go in and it's like a super, super cheap sale. But um, Usagi wants to get this cat clock. But she's broke AF even with the discount. Which is kind of sad. <laughs> Then we, then she goes home, and then we find that her mom actually bought the bought it for her. Just she saw it, she said, "Oh, that was pretty." Cause it was like Luna, and Luna hates the f out of it. She's like, "No, <laughs> I don't trust it." And then we cut to where the clock takes her energy, and so Usagi was already up and left for school like around seven, which is not her ever. Then we cut to where basically people are very insane. And then the teacher, so basically they show up for school early and it's not time for class to start yet. And they're just like, oh my God, where the, that's everybody. Like I am done with this. I'm bailing. I got other stuff, more important things to do. So um, Isagi did the same thing. <laughs> and bounce and then Luna found um uh, so she goes um home then Luna found Ami and they uh, check out the clock and then Luna gives Ami a supercomputer and an energy pot down flew away and there was actually nothing no like um mechanics actually in the clock there was a huge traffic accident and then Jedi is taking the energy and is, uh, and basically uh warns the monster of the guardians and then the bus driver that Usagi is on is Cray and just goes swerving onto the sidewalk and just punches it. And then this lady throttles the, <laughs> the bus driver and makes him hit a pole. And then she gets out, then Ami got out. And by the way, when they got into an accident, this guy's like, oh, my finger, my finger, which I thought was very dumb, but I was like, really? And then, um, then we cut to where Ami found her, and then Usagi transforms and rushes in, and then Ami goes in as well, because Luna's like, why don't y'all take a breath and, you know, wait a minute and try to strategize. She's like, no, we're going in now. And then um, Usagi uses the TR to get in. Then as they, her and Ami get in, Luna tried to get in, and she hit the wall. And then it's versus the monster and they go into this clock and we have very irrational Usagi and then Usagi turned to a little girl, then back to herself and then into like an old lady. So basically it's a big time warp in there. And then, uh, then we cut into uh, Tuxedo Mask uh, tries to help as well and hits the clock which disrupts the monster. Then Ami was able to locate her thanks to the computer. And then, um, the monster cuts Usagi's face and throws Ami. And then, like I said, Tatsuma hit the clock with a rose. And then the, she got her energy back and I'm frozen. They attack her, use the tiara, and she's gone. Everything's back to normal with her being a super klutz. And that's in the episode. I give this episode a B plus. Um, <laughs> I just got a problem with their rationality. I feel like people use that a lot, especially when they're busy and stuff, but um, they definitely were playing on the anxiety and being late for stuff, so um, that kind of hits home because I am kind of like that. If I'm running late, I am so freaking out. It's insane because I always try to be early and, you know, try to have everything done. So, anyway. But other than that, I really enjoyed the episode. It wasn't like trash or anything. Trust me, if this below like a C minus, I'm not, no. I'm gonna rip that show apart. So, <laughs> I'm always super honest, and I'm usually don't even do reviews for it, except for this one that I did for a song. By the way, I need to start doing music again. Anyway, that's it for this video. I'm getting too distracted about going off on a tangent. Anyway, other than that, I really enjoyed the episode. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, actually these were pretty cool and the supercomputer is basically like a palm pilot that 
bigger. <laughs> it's like a mini, mini laptop. Basically, it's like my phone times two that has like a flip up screen. But obviously, my computer's like way, I mean, my phone's way smarter. So, anyway, that's it. Subscribe if you want. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye. <laughs>